The wind jam is on the 14th floor of the ovation of the seats. It's a different, multiple cuisine, eatery style place. And the very first thing you do as you go through the door, it's usually a la young lass on the door who yells out washy washy and you have to go and wash your hands. For Ella that's usually a sanitizer because we can't get her over the sink from the wheelchair. Uh, but Maria and I when we're uh, up there on our own we have to go through the hand washing process just like everybody else. It's quite a good thing. And then the very next order of business is to wander through the eateries part of it and find a place to sit. Um, because Ella likes to eat pretty early, for us that's no problem because there's always plenty of room available. If you get there a bit later on day one, it is an absolute debacle of people. There's huge amounts of people up there and they often are asking people to finish their dinner and move on as soon as they finish so that other people can get a seat. But I think they probably seat five or six hundred. There's a vast array of food up there every day. Fruit, vegetables, American, Indian, Asian, take your, take your pick. These flowers and carving arrangement you see here, they're actual lettuce and tomatoes and cauliflowers and capsicums all carved and arranged so they look like flowers. They're unbelievable. You actually, they look just like flowers. I don't think the fruit salad is the most popular section they've got. This is one of Maria's favourites. If you fancy a slice of bread or a bread roll, there's usually a few about to be had. Including one that looks like a fish. And this is sort of the deli and the cheese and the cold meats coming up. Everyone's favourite section, desserts. They reckon with 4,905 passengers they produce somewhere around 230,000 desserts a week. I don't know if that counts individual cookies or not. If it counts individual cookies, Maria's made up for about 50 people. If you count actual desserts, I think the most I had on one day was three. And that averages out to about seven desserts per person per day. Somebody must be eating a shitload of them. And here's the Christmas decoration. There was a couple of these around the boat. Uh, weirdly, they had to put a sign up there for you not to eat it. I'm guessing some people walked up and decided to have a have a try of one of the dodgy looking gingerbread houses. 